Carl, it seems like you made some plays against the run so far throughout camp. Was that a point of emphasis for you to, to work on that aspect of your game coming into this uh, offseason? Uh, coming into the offseason, um, my whole objective was to stop the run. In order to uh, rest the passes, you got to stop the run. So um, <clears throat> I've just been paying attention to details on run blocks, and then I've spent the whole offseason um, with Ryan, you know, looking at blocks and uh, focusing on technique. So um, right now during camp, that's what I'm doing, and I'm just doing my job. You feel like that's, that's paying off a little bit for you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Carl, how do you feel you grown in the time that you've been here, especially working across from guys like Cam Jordan and, and the other veterans that have been around you as well? Um, it's definitely been a process uh, since my rookie year coming in. Um, but uh, to have Cam and Marcus Davenport and David and all those guys uh, to be on my team has uh, been great for me, um, being my mentor, helping me um, with the playbook and going the off season, training with me and everything. So um, I came a long ways from my rookie year to now. And it's only going to get better. What were your main points, uh, other than that, that, your main points of emphasis for improvement heading into this season after, after you reviewed last year? Um, main point for me was uh, play recognition, you know, um, and also getting bigger and stronger and faster. So this, this whole offseason, I was trying to focus on my weight, get my weight up so I could be stronger in the run game and not get tossed around. So um, that was my whole focus. And then uh, watch, watch film and learn the plays and the different blocks. So that was my main focus coming into uh, training camp. And um, so far, it's been paying off. What weight do you plan to play at this season? Uh, I, I plan to stay at 285. 285? Yes, sir. And that's what you were last season, but you just wanted to be a different? Uh, last season, I was 270. Yeah. I came into camp about like 275. I got you. So um, I, my, my whole goal is to maintain and uh, keep my strength. Does being stronger change how you rush the passer at all? Like how, how you go about that? Um, no, I, I wouldn't say it changed how I rest the passer, but it definitely um, helps in, um, as far as power. And, um, you know, resting the passer, that's based on technique and pad level. So um, the weight don't have nothing to do with it. Does that give you some comfort if ever asked to move inside on you know, third down or obvious passing situations, things like that? Does that help you there? So right now, um, you know, I've been moving around inside, outside, um, trying to do what's best for the team. And um, if they ask me to play inside at D-tackle, um, I'll go in there. But I know it's a grind, and uh, David and them guys play it great. So um, I'd be, I'd love to, to go inside if that's what it takes. You had a little bit of a smile there as you were talking about moving inside. <laughs> what is it about playing from the inside that, that you It's want? just different. Um, everything ha happened a lot faster. Um, your pad level got to be a lot lower. And then definitely you have to be strong to play inside. So uh, taking on a double team is, is a different ball game. Hey, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.